Hi everyone, happy summer. It's Liv here with another episode of the Swatch Show Summer 2024 Edition. This is the Ahoy Manny's Collection. It is a nautical new set of seven gorgeous polishes as seen here. I'm going to tell you all about them. I'm going to show them to you in the bottle. I will show them to you on swatch sticks and then I will show them next to some of their most similar all the june shade cousins so that you can get a better sense of what these shades are all about so starting over here with the shade that i'm wearing we have ack a shark which is a nautical navy blue we have shades of seersucker which is like a periwinkle cornflower blue we have Oh, Manny's on deck, which is a totally tropical turquoisey blue green. We have I'll take another spritz, which is a coral orange sheer with golden iridescence in it. We have main character energy, which is like a pinky red situation. Saltwater taffy, which is a sugary sweet pink jelly. And then we have as our free gift to you in the summer system, we have Gold Drops, which is a sheer golden polish and kind of a very, very pale pink base. So seven new shades. This is a collection inspired by Summer by the Sea. It has a lot of kind of sailboat references and nautical kind of colors in it. It is such a perfect collection for summer and I cannot wait to show you the colors. So let's get into it. Also, I feel kind of chill and relaxed today. So perhaps this will not be such a crazy swatch show, but do let me know what version of the Swatch Show you prefer because I will tailor the flavor of the Swatch Show to your preference. So let me know in the comments what you're most excited about, whether you prefer this to be an ASMR session or whether you would prefer it to be more of a who knows what will happen situation. So I'm gonna pull in some dark blues for you here. We have Ack a Shark, which is a true navy. Then we have HJ, which is a really deep midnight blue, but has a bit of uh, shimmer in it. We have Make a Res, which for me is a very, very dark teal. One of the closest comparisons in the long lasting formula to Aka Shark is going to be Social Studies from our fall 2021 collection. We have OMG. Another similar shade available in quick dry is going to be suited. And then one of our besties for the resty, we've got C and H. And then to show you what some kind of brighter, different blues look like, I'm bringing in Can't Lose and then Blue Canoe, which is from summer 2022. Nay, yes, 2022. Um, okay, so at first glance, you might say, look, these are a lot of dark blues, but they're very, very different. And as I think kind of navy is a bit of a neutral, the subtle nuance of neutral in any color is incredibly important. So social studies is a lot more, it has more of a vintage look to it. What that means for me is it always reminded me of a navy blue sweatshirt that perhaps would be the one you would like always chuck in your car that had been through the wash, you know, so many times, has that kind of like dustiness to it that's very well loved. Um, Aka Shark has a lot more blue in it than Suited. It's a little bit brighter. Suited is a lot darker. Suited is kind of one of those dark blues where you kind of have to look at it and be like, is it black or is it really, really dark blue? Um, and then as we get into some of these other blues, OMG, has a lot more purple in it, a little bit like a really dark indigo purple. And then Make a Res, like I said, is a little bit of some teal to it. So if you have been searching for a true navy in the long lasting formula, allow me to introduce you to Ack a Shark. 
um, an Akashark is a multiple level reference uh, name. Ak being sort of something you'd exclaim when you see something that might be um, surprising or scary. And of course you would be surprised to see a shark. And then also this being a nautical sailor themed collection, Ak is the airport code for Nantucket Airport. So lots of layers of meaning going on here. But Ak a shark, stunning, classic navy. And is navy a summer color now? Yes, yes it is. Because we wear all colors all the time. All right. Next we have Shades of Seersucker. This was really like a perfect swatch pull from a pair of seersucker shorts. I bought a funny pair of seersucker shorts to take on um, on our fun little photo shoot on the boat, which was a wild time. It was Kat and I on the high seas with the captain. Of course, we didn't, we didn't drive the boat by ourselves, but it was it was rocky out there, or not rocky. Yeah, the boat was rocky. All right. So shades of seersucker. It's a periwinkle, kind of cornflowery blue. So we're pulling in a lot of different light blues here for you. I think the most similar base would be Charming from Quick Dry, but of course Charming has that shimmer to it, and Shades of Seersucker has no shimmer to it. Um, Boost is more of that like cornflower blue, and Shades of Seersucker has more of that periwinkle, like a little drop of purple in there. And then it's much lighter than blue shades like Not a Cloud or Mega Babe Blue, not quite as kind of gray as vintage and then of course much darker than BP and Honest and True. And even BP and Honest and True when those colors came out, they people were like, oh, it's another light blue, but they're very different. So very excited to see how y'all play with this one. I think Periwinkle is such a classic summer shade. And I love how it's such a strong reference to like an item of summer, this seersucker blue and white kind of striped pattern. Alrighty. The other thing I did for this episode of the Swatch Show, she may notice that some of the papers have little scratches on them because I wasn't writing super perfectly and instead of wasting the paper, I was like, you know what, we're just gonna roll with it. So again, let me know what you think. My handwriting is not, probably not the best this time around, but let me know again. Very open to all y'all's feedback. So here we've got all Manny's on deck. This is such a summery color. It's such a bright, happy, turquoisey blue. Bringing in Jewel Pop, which is our shade in collaboration with Elf. And then Green Canteen from summer 2022. I bring these in to show you that you think you may have a turquoise, teal, green, blue situation, but in fact, they're all very different. I think probably, I would say that All Manny's on Deck lives somewhere in between Parakeet and Yes Please. Yes Please goes way more turquoise blue and then Parakeet has that kind of brightness of the green to it. And then All Manny's on Deck is a lot lighter than Parakeet. But this is like tropical water. We are below deck in the tropics and the chief stew just brought out the most delicious fruit plate. So all Manny's on deck is a summer vibe. Okay, what do we have next? Main character energy. This name comes from both Hob we call her Hob, but she's Hana, but Hob is her, are her initials um, for her email, so we would call her Hob, and uh, SGT, who spent a lot of last summer on on the island of Maine? No, oh my gosh, what am I saying? Um, in the state of Maine, my goodness, um, Maine, and we also had just come off 
the really fun collaboration with Colleen Hoover, which was a different kind of main character energy. A fun fact for this shade is I think, yes, one of the names we were going to do for this one was Connecticut or Maine, which is like a reference to what type of lobster roll do you prefer? And the Connecticut lobster roll, I believe, is like a warm, warm one that's served with like a butter sauce. And then Maine is with mayonnaise, but I could be getting those mixed up. In any event, we decided Maine character energy was more fun, obviously. However, the lobster reference still stands because it's like pinky, lobster red kind of pink. Um, there was a very popular style of shorts that kept popping up when we were looking up kind of a sailor nautical color palette and so these are kind of like those in a short in a in a polish all right so colors that we are going to swatch it next to include field day which is like a watermelon pinky red and then picante which is more of like an orangey red have diner date which is a much more hot pink hibiscus again another pinky red larchmont from our emily schumann collection pomodoro i think is probably the closest match to main character energy but it's much redder a little bit darker and then Another spicy hot pink XOXO just for comparison's sake, as well as CV, which is kind of like our true cherry red. So much pinker than most of the reds, but really does in a lot of ways kind of behave like a red. So if reds and pinks are your summer sweet spot, you are going to love main character energy. Ideal petty color. Okie dokie. Okay, saltwater taffy. Saltwater taffy is a jelly pink. And if you know Olive in June, you know that we love a pink mani. So Let's see what our comparisons have for us. Crown. I grabbed Show Off, which was the sheer jelly pink that we um, introduced as a free gift during the Cyber Sale this past year. SE, which is from our first summer collection ever. Regular Taffy from Quick Dry. Lots of taffy love. SCL. And then for the sake of nuance, let's bring in nuance. And then grateful and kind from our summer 2020 collection with Diva. Okay, so a couple things off the bat. Saltwater taffy is a sheer pink jelly, so it is not opaque. It is much lighter than show off, which is also a sheer pink jelly. Um the base of saltwater taffy is like probably closest to crown, I would say. Or tone-wise, it's like a much lighter, like grateful and kind with a lot more white in it. You see why the color pink was called nuance as a as a little poke of fun at ourselves? Because pinks are there's so much range and variation between pinks. So this is a kind of, this is going to be such a dream to layer over anything because it just looks like bouncy, yummy candy. We know y'all love to layer. This would be so pretty over like a brighter pink. It would give it that like kind of soft marshmallowy quality to it. Or like one coat of this with some shimmer over the top for like a more saturated lip gloss mani. Obsessed. So gorgeous. And we had a lot of fun eating like five pounds of saltwater taffy while we were on the boat. So, hope you all love this one. Next 
Next we have, I'll take another spritz, which is a sheer orange jelly with kind of golden iridescence in it. This Manny is as close to the experience of an Aperol spritz bottled as I think you could possibly get. It is the subtle kind of golden iridescence to it just makes it feel sparkly and bubbly, um, which is of course what an Aperol spritz is. And I love that it's sheer. It's going to be so fun to again layer with some of these other shades in here. Um, and this is a very unique shade for us. So I'm very excited to hear what y'all think. So I brought in a couple kind of corally oranges just to show you how it fits in the mix, but there really is no comparison for this one. My favorite thing about Sweet and Gracious is that when we first launched it, I thought it was an orange, which it is. And then now every time I see it in one of the swatches, it looks like so... Dijon mustardy and yellow so it's so funny how your perception of colors can change when you see and next to other ones okay so I brought in a fair amount of different oranges corals and then some shimmery iridescent shades as well um I would say that I'll take another spritz is sort of like baby starfish but a lot more pigmented and of course on the orange side instead of the like corally pink side ditto with candy coral which is kind of like a corally pink with a lot more pink and then be mine which was a limited edition shade from the valentine's day collection this year i think like level of sh like sheerness and level of shimmer is almost comparable but again this one's like a fun bright pink and then this is a fun bright orangey coral the best no this is the best way to describe I'll take another spritz it is it is the summer version of first PSL it's the most seasonally perfect shade just the summer hot weather version of first PSL cannot wait to see how y'all play with this one Fun fact, but I'll take another spritz. We had this crazy photo shoot on this sailboat and we wanted to have like a spritz prop so that you could sort of understand the reference when you saw it. And because we wanted it to be like super, super safe and we didn't want to mess up this gorgeous boat or anything like that, we made a fake Aperol spritz out of well, food coloring. <laughs> And then we also bought fake um, ice cubes, which are a really fun thing. The orange slices in the glass were real, but I'm pretty sure we nailed the, the fake Aperol spritz. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have Gold Drops, which is um, a really, this was like a shimmering summer body oil, kind of makes everything just like glimmer in the heat of the sunlight but also like as the sun goes down in that golden hour vibe it isn't a vaguely very very delicately pink base so it's different from um star shower which i'll show you all in just a second but pulled a couple gold like colors that we can see with this one again you can only get this color as a free gift when you buy a system. So I brought Sandy Scallop, which is a beigey tan iridescent kind of color. Brought in pink goldfish because we're on this kind of undersea world. I brought in Star Shower and you can see Star Shower is a rose gold shimmer but the particles of shimmer in gold drops are much 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 finer than star shower and then as you can see here the base of gold drops has a little touch of pink so whatever you paint it over it has a little bit more pinky warmth to it i also wanted to bring in sugar coat because sugar coat has like a pinky sort of base to it 
that has a much stronger gold reflect in it. And then that's a more, which is a much more pink. As you can see, the base of that Zamore is much more pink than gold drops. So if you were to almost look at it this way, star shower, gold drops, and that Zamore kind of go in order of amount of pink in the base. And then I'll bring back candy coral over here. And then what else do they want? Baby starfish, probably. Oh, you know what would be good? I'm gonna bring in some more gold. Let's do, let's call an audible. And let's bring in some classic O and J gold. This is OJVH, which is a true gold metallic. And then we can also bring in, let's do cosmic right in here. Cosmic and Star Shower are like fraternal twins. So we'll do a Star Shower here. Remember when I said I wasn't gonna go rogue? Okay, so we've got Cosmic, which is a silver shimmer, Star Shower, which is a rose gold shimmer, and then gold drops. And then just because, let's get crazy, bring in party pants which is a very packed rose gold glitter and then obvi which is like a true gold glitter and now of course i will do the very crazy upside down writing so i mean if i had baby starfish in here why not i'll bring baby starfish back Baby starfish. All right, so as you can see, you think you have a gold shimmer, but you don't have gold drops yet. And I cannot recommend, if you don't already know, although if you're here, you probably already know, that the secret to the best Manny ever is the Manny system. So if you do not yet have the Manny system, you're gonna get gold drops for free. The Manny system is already an incredible value. So we made it even more valuable because then you get a free present. So that is it. That is the new summer collection. I hope y'all love it. We are here for any questions in the comments down below. And live means the world to me that you watched. And I'll see you on the next one. All of y'all. Bye.